I'm starting this video up like Doug DeMiro does with, by saying this is the brand new F-150 Lightning. And oh my God, it's actually quite incredible because not only is it an F-150, which in case you didn't know, F-150s are known to be the America best selling pickup truck in USA. And I actually do own an F-150 personally. And after daily driving this thing, coming from a previous generation F-150 model, the truck that I personally own is a 2017 F-150 Raptor. There's not much apart between these two, aside from drivetrain, of course, powertrain and all that stuff, because this is, after all, electric. But driving-wise, the interior, the cargo space and everything, it feels exactly the same like I'm driving a regular modern-day F-150, which is quite incredible and was a great transition from, from a gas truck to an EV truck. Literally, the two, aside from its electricity performance, driving-wise, when you're just coasting, cruising, identical. And so, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and review the F-150 Lightning from a gas truck owner to an electric truck and cover all the interesting features and all the good stuff that there is to know about the brand new F-150 Lightning, including its hidden features and some unique things that this truck has that other F-150 models, as well as other truck models available on market, don't have, but the Lightning does. Let's go ahead and get started. Now we're gonna go ahead and start off with the unique feature, and that is the frunk, as Ford like to call it, their mega frunk. But since you don't have a traditional engine under the hood, and unlike my Tesla, if I wanna have quick access to the frunk, so long as the truck is unlocked, there actually is a little button right here I can just press and it will automatically open up, giving us easy access to the frunk, which actually has a lot of space in here. Not only can you utilize the upper part, but down here there is an additional compartment which you can store stuff like the power adapter and stuff that the vehicle comes with. But this is actually a cooler because this part actually has like a little drain down here. And on top of the, that cover, you may have noticed there actually is a tape measure up here. So if you're a fisherman or something like that, want to quickly measure your fish or whatever animal you go hunting for, you can actually measure it right here. But if you're at a work site and such, you also have access to four household outlets as there is an embedded inverter here that will allow you to actually power power tools and such right here. And you also have quick access to a USB-C port and a USB-A port back here. This is super impressive. And for those to-go meals, since the front is isolated from the cabinet, so if you don't want your vehicle to smell like a to-go box, you can actually store it here as, as there's little hooks that will actually fold down. So you can make sure your food doesn't just rattle around and such. And you also have the additional cargo space. It's super spacious in here. I could easily fit in here and close the front on me if I really want to as there is a quick release here in case you're locked in. And you have access to a power button right here, which will actually illuminate the little lights that it has above, which is quite interesting. Again, no other vehicle or another similar pickup truck has this luxury in just the front. Now the charging port for this pickup truck is located right here. You simply just press and it just releases. And yes, it does support fast charging support from third parties. And if you like to, you can actually press this little button. With the appropriate adapter, you can actually use this to actually power other things, such as your house, which is something that the F-150 can do, another electric vehicle if you like, or just power like a campsite. You can easily do so. Now if you actually go ahead and purchase the Ford Power Charging Pro. This is actually one of the few, or currently only pickup truck or vehicle, that actually will allow you to use the pickup truck as a backup power source to power up your household. You just need to buy the power adapter from Ford, which only costs about $500. Installation sold separately though. And so if you're looking for a backup battery, my buddy here at Engineering Explain actually made a comparison video against Tesla's popular Powerwall against the F-150 Lightning. And it's more reasonable to purchase the F-150 Lightning than several power banks because to get the same equivalent with the battery pack that's in integrated with the, even the base F-150 Lightning will save you a lot of money. So this is actually not a bad pickup truck to look at if you need a home battery bank. Now, just like my Raptor, this also illuminates the side mirrors. So you can actually use the side mirrors for work sites where you can actually move the mirror like so and position the light where you want it to shine. So this truck has that capability. And since this is the platinum edition, it is fully loaded. So you do have blind spot detection icons right here on the side of your mirrors. Now I look back, of course you get all the modern features like the bumper sensors. There's also sensors in the front too. The entire truck actually has sensors all around. 
360 camera is also a thing that this pickup truck has. But in addition to that, of course, you have the tailgate assist where it'll softly close itself. And once you're done with the tailgate, a little push up will cause the tailgate to go back up. Now you may have noticed for a press car, this does have the tunnel cover. That is because it's not stock from Ford. That is because this is actually my personal tunnel cover that I used on my Raptor, which means yes, some accessories on the previous generation or even the current F-150 pickup truck are actually compatible to be used on this bed or other parts around this pickup truck because the interior is almost very similar, which was, you'll see in just a little bit. So if you already own F-150 accessories and stuff, you might be able to fit this on this Lightning just fine. But yes, back here you do have a power inverter just like the front that gives you access to additional household outlets right here. So this unique port, which I believe is for both and trailers and such, and another household outlet set right here and little buttons right here to activate the inverter and you do have access to a little button right here which will actually illuminate the tail for you so if you're working at night you have that capability and of course you have hooks and such to like hook your tools and make sure everything is nice and tucked tailgate is also unique as you do have access to a measuring tape right here this little unique port right here not only can hold your phone but you can actually put your pen and stuff like that right here so it doesn't roll around cup holders as well i believe that's what this hole is and you also have bottle openers right here on the sides as well you can also utilize to tie down things too and of course you have the step assist which is super easy to just bring out and collapse once you're done this is just here so you have easy access to your tailgate super convenient for anybody who really wants to quickly have access to the tailgate without having to jump or anything like that and risk possibly hurting yourself. And once more, assisted tailgate. So key appearances. I do like the design that this F-150 Lightning has going on. I like how it separates itself from other F-150s, even the new ones, as it does have this unique like light bar in the back, which illuminates really nicely in both daylight and nighttime. At night, it definitely does look like something from a sci-fi film, but yeah, you are technically driving the future. Now, other cool things I like about this truck is the unique blue outlines that it has on the Lightning as well as the Lightning font itself. And yes, I'm at a steep angle because the pickup truck is at an angle. I did park it at flex in just to show you the beefy axles down here because this is actually Ford's first F-150 with real independent suspension. So the handling on this thing, which I'll talk more about, actually handles really nice. And of course, you have this epic looking American flag right here on the tailgate with a little blue Lightning bolt. Now something cool that I do like what Ford did was that even though this part looks like it's a door, it's a blank, but it's just there to like match the other side. It's just a design element, which isn't bad to be honest. Now inside the brand new F-150 Lightning, again, the interior isn't so much different than the current generation F-150. The only big difference is the center console as the display is the massive brand new sync system that's found on the, even the Mach-E Mustang. But the center console and stuff like that still features the unique F-150 elements that the current F-150 has, like the floating shifter, which by the way does actually have anti-collision. So if, the, if there's an object in here that you placed, the shifter is smart enough to not crush it and go back up automatically as you see right here. And then with the shifter folded, of course you have access to the foldable table right here. So you do have an office space to work on your laptop notes or just eat food as you could actually use this at the food tray if you like a little table right here in addition to that you still have access to that massive very deep storage can actually store like a one gallon bottle or two if you want so that's my personal experience by utilizing this and you have two cup holders here for american sized cups as well as additional cup holders on the side of the doors as well now a unique thing about the platinum that i do like a lot is the typically the logo where it says Ford on the steering wheel. It's supposed to be bright blue. I like the new low-key silver color that Ford is going with for the uh, platinum models of the F-150. But of course you have other cool features like the additional storage compartment right here for your, for your glove box as well as the glove box container right here which is also massive. You have additional outlets right here, more household outlets access right here. You have a 12 volt outlet here as well for your rear detector needs and such. Wireless charging is available 
but you have the capability to use wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, which this massive display does support, USB ports as well, A and USB-C. And if you don't want to see none of that, you can always hide it just like so. Now, this being the Platinum model, these seats do have massage capabilities, which you can easily access by tapping the little lumbar button in the center. It'll quickly change the display to your massage seat control. You have these different modes to select from. All personal preference, I tried all of them. They're all right, not for me, but I'm not really much of a large guy, so I really don't utilize these sofa, almost like inspired seats. So if you're a big person, you're gonna really like these seats. Even the small guy like me, I can sit perfectly fine inside these seats just fine. Now these seats are heated and ventilated for the driver and passengers. Just a rear passenger, unfortunately, it's only a heated seat, which we're gonna go ahead and go back in there in a little bit and cover more about that. Storage compartment for your glasses, as well as access to the panoramic moonroof. You can open up the screen visor instead, or if you like to open up only the front portion of the glass roof, you totally can do so. Only the front part opens up, by the way. It open up all the way in the back as you're viewing right here. And the little window back here is also electronically controlled, so you can actually adjust it right here as you're driving. Aside from that, you have other truck controls like your trailer assist right here, as well as your braking system and such. Your jellyfish launcher at the side right here. I know it's not really called that, but yeah. And the uh, stereo system is BMOs, which sound, which sound, excellent but the overall design of the interior it looks it's really nice it's like a silver with wood texture here and there and some piano glass in the right places all right here we are in the back seats i have a lot of space as you can see right here i could easily move my legs anywhere i like uh center can not only be a seat but if it's not in use you have access to additional cup holders right here with this fold down armrest uh, heated seats, you can control the heated seats right here. You have choice of two levels and you also have a 12 volt outlet here with air vents you can actually adjust right here. You just can't climb, control the climate temperature. That is all done in the front, unfortunately, but you can at least move it around. Household outlets here, as well as USB cables for your rear passengers. So USB A and USB C. And of course you have additional storage in the back of the seats. Hangers right here, as well as lights. And if you need additional cargo storage, you can easily fold up these seats. And I'm inside, I'm able to fold these things up and have access to it if I really want to. It's using the exact same F-150 storage mechanism. So if you don't need this storage compartment to store stuff, you can always just fully collapse it flush if you need to bring like lumber or something like that in the back here. But uh, yeah, for a truck, I have a lot of space back here. Again, it, it's really similar to my Raptor, which is quite interesting. And I really do like that about this EV pickup truck. Even though it's an EV, it doesn't have to be small. It could be large and still be very efficient. So there's really very little sacrifices aside from the range, my personal opinion. But at least the range is doable. It's not like 30 mile range or something like that. Now let's go ahead and talk about numbers. So horsepower that this model in particular has, this is the Platinum and it does have the extended uh, battery, which means this thing has a total of 563 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque. This allows this pickup truck to achieve a 0-60 time in the low four seconds. And from head to heel, driving this thing, yeah, it's, it's really quick, no question about it. Especially since there's no gear shifts or anything like that, it just accelerates. So it really does take advantage of the EV performance side of things. Since this is the extended one, not only does it have more power, but the battery capacity is 131 kilowatts. And in the real world, around 90%, I was able to get 290 miles of range. So on average, this truck is around the 300s from my personal daily experience. Now these next big clips are just a couple of tips and tricks. One of which is you can actually shift this truck from reverse and drive. So long as you're below five miles per hour, you can do this without actually going to a straight stop, which is quite interesting. Now the cool thing about this F-150 Lightning, just like previous F-150 models, you do have access to the number keypad. So if you want to leave your key like inside the truck, the key number codes for those shortcuts still work even on the brand new Lightning. So if I would leave this key inside, let's say I'm going on the beach, yes, I can use the keypad to unlock the pickup truck and have quickly access to it. You can get my keys and stuff to drive off. But if you press and hold these two buttons, this will also force the truck to actually close with the key fob inside. So that's just a quick way to override it. Now this truck does have Ford's Blues Cruise, which basically has two sensors that monitor your eyes. So, so long as you're keeping track on your, the road, 
You'll be able to operate this vehicle hands-free, but also always be aware of your surrounding in case you have to take control of the steering wheel. But this works really accurately and you enable it by simply just enabling cruise control. And even in a real world environment with like heavy traffic like this, the blue cruise actually does a fantastic job on like braking fluidly with quotations. Trust me, it's not as aggressive compared to my Tesla is, like the Model Y and my Model S. This one actually does have a smoother transition, especially when the traffic is going on and off type of thing in these type of traffic situations. Like right now, it's slowing down. I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable. A little bit hard, but nothing like jerking quickly and stuff like that. And it's keeping a nice distance, even with the single bar, as you witness. Not bad, Ford. Chevy, uh, Blue Cruise, yeah, good job with the sensors right here. Monitoring my eyes so I don't have to use my hands on the steering wheel. But in a low light environment, it does require you to have your hand on the steering wheel. It'll prop you on the screen. And then the cool thing I like about the uh, infotainment system of this in particular EV pickup truck is that it actually does give you data of the temperature of not just the battery, but also the motors themselves. So I like the fact that Ford is actually utilizing the space to give the driver more information in case they are driving a heavy payload. So in conclusion, if you're making a transition from a, your current truck to an EV truck like the F-150, especially if you already own an F-150, you're not going to feel too far apart because there's times where it feels like I'm almost driving like my old current F-150. Just until you get your foot down on the accelerator and you don't feel any transmission shifts here and there is when you realize you're driving something from the future. But with today's gas prices and stuff like that, to some, it does make more sense to get a EV pickup truck, especially if you're just commuting closely to work. But for long road trips and stuff like that, I don't know, me personally, Los Angeles is about 600 miles away. Usually when I travel far distance, that's where I usually head. So if I would be driving this, I'm gonna make a couple of stops here and there just to charge this thing. Well, with my Raptor, a single tank will easily get me there. So I guess that's somewhat of a con that I personally will experience. To others, this may make perfect sense, especially if you have a solar system in your household and you're in the market for power banks for your house. 131 kilowatts or even the base 98 kilowatts, that's a lot of power stored in your F-150 to power up your house. And unlike Tesla power walls, you're saving a lot of money by picking up this truck instead of buying a bunch of multiple power walls as you can actually drive this thing and have it insured and if you need to tow something, this is available. Then of course you have other EV benefits, like you don't have to actually change the oil on this truck. The only maintenance you really have to worry about is your tires, maybe your brakes if you're towing a lot, but the regen braking, I like the fact that Ford actually does allow you to have the option to turn that off. But with the regen braking enabled, you don't even use your actual brakes to slow down. And you also have other future features like you got to use your mobile cell phone as the key. So if you think the original key fob is too bulky for you, your mobile device is your key. So as soon as you walk up to the car, it'll unlock and you can drive off. Aside from that, <laughs> there you guys have it. I hope this video was informative and I made your car shopping experience a whole lot better. Greatly appreciate if you can actually leave this video a like as those help me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. Now, since we're in the topic of pickup trucks, if you'd like to know how my ownership experience has been like with my personal Ford F-150 Raptor, you can go ahead and check out that video over there. And then that video over there, that is another EV video review. But that one is my Model S versus my previous Model Y. So feel free to watch it either or. Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.